Good afternoon, everyone. The Bills just wrapped up their first practice of the week before they go up against the Oakland Raiders on Sunday in Oakland, a game that seems daunting, but also the Bills know that is a pretty big one for them as they continue to try and chase the postseason and to end that playoff drought at 16 seasons. But the Bills on the field today got some good news and some bad news that I wanted to go through some of the biggest roster notes of the day. First and foremost, the big uh, good news of the day is Marcel Darius, you know, the defensive lineman who left the game late in the third quarter against Jacksonville with with an abdominal strain. The Bills weren't really sure what the what this week would hold with him, and but he flat out dominated that game. He practiced today on a limited basis. The Bills believe he should be ready to play against Oakland. So that is a huge gain for them because he has been on fire in the three games that he has been on the field for the Bills. On the downside, cornerback Ronald Darby is still in concussion protocol. Now he had to leave the, the Jacksonville game in the first half after getting his head hit suffered a concussion, still in protocol. So tomorrow is a big day for him. If he's able to get back out of the practice field and at least get to stage two of concussion protocol, then maybe he has a shot against Oakland. But if he's not on the field tomorrow, it certainly won't look good for him trying to be ready to go by the time Sunday rolls around against the Raiders. And the Bills also have a brand new tight end on their hands, and that is none other than quarterback turned tight end Logan Thomas, who, if you're unfamiliar, spent his high school career as a tight end, or at least was recruited as a tight end, was the number one ranked in his year tight end coming out of high school, went to Virginia Tech there, ended up switching to quarterback after Tyrod Taylor left town at Virginia Tech and ended up playing quarterback for a couple of seasons in the NFL. Now he switches to tight end, six foot six, 250 pound guy. I mean, intriguing skill set, to, skill set to say the least. And the Bills are viewing him as a project and someone they can try and develop. They say he'll be inactive this week, but keep an eye out for him because that athleticism, that body, and you know that type of potential, the Bills will want to see what they have from a long-term lens as opposed to just this five-game stretch here at the end of the season. For now, practice begins uh, on Thursday, just a little before noon, so that's the next time. We'll talk to you here from One Bills Drive. I'm Joe Biscaglia. We'll talk to you next time.